Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Middleweight champion Kelly Pavlik's rise to boxing superstardom was suddenly interrupted when he took a catchweight fight 10 pounds above the middleweight limit against Bernard Hopkins, and like so many, Hopkins' opponents got schooled. Pavlik nevertheless remains the middleweight champion of the world and the pride of American Rust Belt capital, Youngstown, Ohio. Let's take a look now at Kelly Pavlik's greatest hits. Pavlik's amazing 2007 began against the rugged Jose Luis Satuche. The fight was physical from the beginning, with both fighters gunning for the early knockout. Satuche with two uppercuts, and he hurts Pavlik. Oh, big right hand, and there it is, the dramatic moment. Having seized control of the fight in the middle rounds, Pavlik continued to apply the pressure and closed the show in vintage fashion. Oh, straight one, two, that rocks Sertucci. Oh, he put Sertucci to sleep with a right hand, and Raul Caiz just waves it off. May 2007, Pavlik and Edison Miranda squared off in a heavy-hitting matchup of the top two contenders in the division. Both fighters were there to make a statement. I think Miranda expected to be able to intimidate Kelly Pavlik, and right now, Pavlik is showing no fear whatsoever as he lands long right hands into the grill of Miranda oh. and bangs him hard with a shot. And right now, Edison is in trouble in the corner as he's been tagged four times big by Pavlik. They are trading bombs at short range. Well, this is old-fashioned middleweight punching. The determined Pavlik continuously backed Miranda up and displayed knockout power that brought him to the threshold of victory. Big right hand. Oh, by that Pavlik. hurt him. He's out. Miranda is down, and the question is, can he make it up? He just got hit with a massive left hook. And Miranda is all but out on his feet as he slumps into the chair. And this is stoppage time. Any other referee would have stopped it before there. Smoker finally does. Kelly Pavlik has a huge knockout victory. And now we have a buildup to a fight with Taylor that could be huge. Pavlik got his shot at Jermaine Taylor in September 2007. The fight began as a wild, all-out slugfest. They trade in the center of the ring. They haven't really moved from the center of the ring. Good combination by Pavlik. And a long right hand over the top. And nearly ended in round two. As Taylor suddenly gets Pavlik in big trouble. Kelly Pavlik getting raked by hard right hands. And left hand. And now Pavlik goes down. Jermaine means real business. He's going for broke now. He wants to win this fight. He wants to take Pavlik out straight away. What an assault, and what a survival. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, okay. After surviving an explosive barrage of power shots, Pavlik slowly turned the tide. And here comes Pavlik with straight right hands again. He backs Taylor into the corner. And in round seven, ended Taylor's reign as middleweight champion. And that right hand hurt Taylor. Taylor is done. Left hook. Knocks Taylor's head up. Uppercut has Taylor in big trouble. Down goes Jermaine. And Steve Smoker is going to stop the fight. There's a brand new middleweight champion. He's from Youngstown, Ohio. February 2008. The boxing world had to wait just five months for the rematch. Pavlik's belts not on the line because the contracted weight for the fight was 166 pounds, six pounds over the middleweight limit. In round one, it appeared Pavlik had picked up right where he left off. Hard right hand by Pavlik. How does Taylor respond? Left hook by Pavlik. Big left hook by Pavlik. Taylor recovered well. And unlike the first fight, Jermaine maintained a disciplined approach, attacking in spurts, conserving his energy. Hard right hand by Taylor. Good left hook by Taylor. But as the fight progressed, Pavlik continued to move forward and began to wear Taylor down. Hard right hand by Pavlik and another. Pavlik keeps coming forward. Taylor's eyes are swelling shut on both sides. 
Fighting past round nine for the first time ever, Havlick showed no signs of slowing down. And although Taylor continued to land some big shots, it was Pavlik's relentless attack that stood out. This round may be up for grabs, but Pavlik may be putting his imprint on it right now. Hard right hand by Taylor. Pavlik comes back with two hard shots of his own. Taylor backing up when he needs to throw. Jab and right hand by Pavlik. Body shot by Pavlik. For the second time in as many fights, Pavlik was victorious over Taylor. This time by unanimous decision. In his first title defense, Havlick squared off with Welshman Gary Lockett. Havlick established his power early against the overmatched challenger. Lockett goes to one knee after a barrage of clean shots by Pavlik. And there's the second knockdown of the fight. Too good. Simply too good. Determined not to give Lockett any hope, Havlick closed the show in round three. There's nothing Kelly Pavlik can't do, and there's knockdown number three. And there comes the towel from Enzo Kalzaki, who's seen enough to know that anything else is simply a risk to Lockett's health. Third round knockout, piece of cake. October 2008, riding the momentum of an undefeated record and a string of impressive victories, Ablett moved up to light heavyweight for a big payday fight against Bernard Hopkins. Pavlik was confused early, as the 43-year-old Hopkins consistently beat him to the punch. Good left hook to the body by Hopkins, and a good right hand upstairs. Good left hook by Hopkins. And Pavlik's legs are skipping by a Hopkins uppercut. And there's a mouse under Kelly Pavlik's right eye, which was created by that terrific left hand punch by Hopkins. Stunning the boxing world, Hopkins dominated Pavlik, at times toying with the middleweight champion. Good left hook up between the gloves by Hopkins. Rips Pavlik with his left hook again. Right hand by Hopkins. Faster hands for Hopkins are bedeviling Kelly Pavlik. The 43-year-old's hand speed is embarrassing the 26-year-old fighter. He still has the faster hands. He still dominates the center of the ring. He's still ripping Pavlik in combinations and putting him on the defensive. Hopkins never slowed, and Pavlik's career hit a major speed bump. This is a damaging blow to the image of the younger generation. Pavlik gets ripped by a right hand, staggered in the center of the ring. The question is, can Pavlik make it to the finish line? Pavlik's face is bloodied, and his reputation is in shambles at this moment. Bernard Hopkins rolled to the easy, unanimous decision victory. To see if Kelly Pavlik can regain his dominant form, log on to HBO.com.